guys, me Carl Santos, aka Happy Carnage 957, and welcome to a breaking news from the NASCAR world, and it involves Kyle Larson because in the past few weeks he's been trying to search for a race team to drive for, and it's not related to NASCAR, but I think a week ago he had to shut down his World of Outlaws team in hopes of his reinstatement to be much improved, but hey, it didn't matter. Rick Hendrick still wanted to sign this young man and Kyle Larson in hopes of driving the number five car for next season, so I'm reading the article here from Jayski.com, a more reliable source that I know of, so I'll just skim for this. So Kyle Larson signed a multi year contract to number five drive the number 5 Chevy Camaro CL11LE. <laughs> Just want to see the specifications of that. <laughs> and then, not long, Cliff Daniels, he decided he wanted to still be in Hendrick Motorsports and crew chief for a team that hasn't had winning speed, but, but with Kyle Larson, yeah, they're going to be up and running and getting top fives or top tens each season. So, so Cliff Daniels will be the crew chief, and for the past few years, he has crew chief Jimmy Johnson to many, you know, decent runs, but not spectacular. So, so um, all I can say is Kyle Larson. He can breathe now and just just go to his home and tell the kids, hey, I'll bring you guys to the racetrack whenever possible, whenever COVID-19 is over or returns back to normal. So all I can say is, welcome back, Kyle Larson. You can breathe now. See you. In the Daytona 500 next February, so <sighs> yeah, I feel so relieved that April incident in the I racing. Put that aside. Now six months later, he's back, and I have to thank you all, the race fans, for hanging in there and realizing it wasn't an easy task for Larson to do to write that essay that he wrote a month ago and uh, I think that essay that he wrote it, it meant the world to him to say hey I want to change I want to help the community so much to play with and you know just be myself that's all yeah Okay, I hope with the combo between Cliff Daniels and Kyle Larson will work, and despite Chad Johnson not being there anymore, I think, yeah, the crew chief thing will take a while to learn, and hopefully, Lar when R Kyle Larson, known as driving the high lane at one and a half mile racetrack slash two mile, and then Bristol, at Bristol to it. You know he'll ride the high lane at Bristol Motor Speedway, whether it's dirt or concrete, I'd just say. I mean, this breaking news had to be way too easy for him to, like, set up, you know? And, like, it took some guts in him to, like, actually get to Hendrick Motorsports that quickly and realize, hey, this is the best I can do. I have Chase Elliott, I have Alex Bowman, and then now William Byron. Well, breaking news in that part, William Byron, he got a new crew chief a few days after this announcement, and his name is Rudy Fugel, a former crew chief of Kyle Busch Motorsports. Um, that's a nice addition also, so 
you know, when you change things around in-house and one crew chief slash driver combinations gelling, the whole team will get better, you know? So everybody needs to change once in a while, so. So basically, that's about it for this Kyle Larson news from Henrik Motorsports. So he'll drive number five, I don't know what it is, Valvoline, Lumar, you name them. I think those are the sponsors that might back him as they help him gain more sponsorship as he wins races, consistently runs in the top five, top ten, you name them. So there you have it. So I'm AK Happy Country 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.